Hello friends, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we're gonna make something on a Tuesday night because I didn't feel good last night. So tonight's Tuesday and we're gonna create something cute, I hope. I had plans for last night and between last night and today, the plan has morphed even more. So I think it's gonna be better than what I had planned to start with yesterday. Hey Luann, hello, how are you? Hello everybody. So, my idea kind of changed a little bit since yesterday. Hey, Mona. Hey, Karina. And uh, Debbie, hello. I'm just going to start by, I've got a jar, a pickle jar. Hey, Jerry and Debbie and Carol. So, I have a, just a pickle jar, okay? That's what I'm going to start with. But I've got to prep this part first while we're talking. So, I'm going to paint my lid just so it, the green doesn't show. Hey, Cheryl and Lori and Elisa, I'm just, uh, this is just white chalk paint and I'm just going to paint my lid while we're chatting and saying hello. Thank you, Jerry. Hey, Christy. Hey, Sandy. Hello, hello, everybody. Sorry I missed last night. My allergies have been so bad, even though I take two different medications. Um, thank you, Linda. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Debbie. <clears throat> um, hey Tina, rainy Florida. It feels nice here. It's actually kind of cool, which is nice for this time of the year. But my allergies have been kicking my, my honey. Hey Linda from Indiana. Yes, I am feeling better. Um, and I spent yesterday afternoon on the couch because I didn't feel good. My ear was hurting and, um, I think I just have fluid in my ear from the allergy situation and my head was hurting. I couldn't get any relief. And I was like, I just, I can't do it. I can't go live. So I, yeah, I think everybody's are bad, Elizabeth. Hello, how are you? Hey, Donna. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, Samantha. Thank y'all for giving me some grace. Um, Cause I wasn't, <clears throat> I wasn't here last night. I don't like to miss, but you know, especially when people are saying, oh, I look forward to it, you know, and all this. And it's like, I just don't like to miss. So, I'm just painting this jar lid to this pickle jar. Just a regular old hamburger slice pickle jar. Because y'all know I don't like to throw stuff away. <laughs> hey, Misty. Hey, Mary. Thank you, Linda. Today, the white stuff is floating everywhere. Well, we don't have stuff floating everywhere, but I, my nose tells me that we do. Hey, Jane. Hey, Lori. I think um, our spring was a little late this year because, like, right now it's really cool outside. Humidity is really low, which is really odd for us at the end of May because we're about to start summer. And it should be kind of getting a little hot. But I'm not complaining. Um, I like the cooler temps where we can sit outside and kind of enjoy the porch and stuff. Loretta, I feel your pain, but I could have went with a headache, but my ear was hurting, and I was just like laying on the couch, like on the pillow with my ear. I was like, ugh, can't get rid of this, and I finally just had to take two Benadryl and went to sleep on the couch last night, and my husband woke me up and said, it's time to go to bed. I was like, okay. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Wendy. Okay, I'm just trying to get this dry. I'm just painting over the green because... I don't want it to show, which the bottom of it's not going to show, but, um, hey, Barb, I just try, I'm just trying to get it a little bit covered up in case the green was to show through, which it probably will not, but I just don't want it to be a problem for what we're going to do. We had a, we had a hot one last week too, and then it's cool here too, Nancy. It's humid in Texas. Oh my goodness. Nice, yes, Melinda. It is nice, isn't it? I think everybody's allergies are bad right now. So I'm going to put this to dry. And I'm going to paint over my spot where I'm holding it. Hey, Kim. Hey, Lori. Thank you, thank you. Thank y'all for coming in here and hanging out with me. And like I said, I'm just painting this jar lid just so the bright green won't cause me any issues down the road for what I'm going to do to this jar. But I don't think it will, but... Just in case, I'm just kind of just giving it a rough coat of just my white Waverly. No big deal. 
Hey, Teresa, thank you, Pam. <coughs> and I got like this little cough. It's like draining in my throat. Shireen, I'm about to get to that, about to get to that, what we're going to do. Um, we're going to make like a little scene in this jar, but it's going to be really cute. Um, I will be honest, I saw this little uh, deal on TikTok, and it was some Chinese person that I can't even pronounce the name when I saw them do this, and I was like, I've got to work on that, and I've got to try it. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. You keep your pickle juice, Linda, for leg cramps. Hot in St. Louis. Hey, Karen. Tons of mosquitoes. Yeah, we, we got the mosquitoes. No, I don't have any smoke from from Canada. Um, but I just got a jar, pickle jar. Yeah, and I know y'all have jars. Um, we did cans, what, last week, week before, and now we're doing jars. Um, and I picked up some green... Uh, pipe cleaners and I don't even have one over here that I can show you that I've already done because I took them over there and left them over there um, green and then I'm doing white um, you can do whatever color you choose okay this is super super cute and when I saw it I was like okay gotta do this you probably have pipe cleaners I have a bin of pipe cleaners of Christmas and sparkly kinds and all the kinds um, Hey, Laurie. Hey, Mary and Tammy. Hey, Colin. There's my son. Um, they sent me pictures today of the ultrasound. I got to see a little peanut on the ultrasound. I'm so excited. Okay, so we're going to take a white pipe cleaner. Look look at this. Look at the fuzz coming off. <laughs> That's probably going to make me sneeze. Um, these are just from Hobby Lobby, and these are $1.79 a pack. And I didn't know if I had enough white ones. And I was at Hobby Lobby and said, I'm going to get some because I'm going to do this craft. Um, pickle juice works good. <laughs> um, I forgot where I was going with this. Okay, so I have done this with different widths, okay? So I'm using a Sharpie because this is the width that I found works best for me. Um, you, can, you can use something smaller like... This is just like a pencil, and you know the width is smaller, but it's gonna it's gonna look different when you use something that's bigger, around or smaller. Um, and I'm gonna do this several times so y'all can see how to do it, because I had to play with it a little bit and kind of master it, because I saw this video of her doing this, and I was like, I was really fascinated. So I and love the way that it looked. So I had to try this for myself. Um, so I just have a sharpie and I have this pipe cleaner. Um, so you're going to hold it and you're going to wrap this around. And what I want is I want six loops around. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So pretty much the whole pipe cleaner. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I actually have, a, have an extra. Okay. So I just wrapped it around there. And then we have this. Okay. This little springy thing. So let me see. So what I try to do is you see where this one starts that's where the start of it is and then this one ends which i have actually too many one two three four no i haven't i have enough because this one don't go all the way around so i want that the end of the pipe cleaner is here and then my end is down here so you kind of have to pay attention to that too susan it works for cramps like leg cramps and stuff because it's got a lot of potassium uh, sodium in it um okay so we got our white pipe cleaner Y'all are going to be so fascinated. because <laughs> I hope y'all are because I was. I was like intrigued by watching this. And now, yes, Tammy will be my first grandchild. Um, You're okay, Kay? Hey, oh, everybody's speaking to everybody else. Okay, so here's the end of my pipe cleaner. And then the other end is over here. So I want to make sure they're like, I'm not, I want to make sure they're kind of down, like, this part and that part because when we're going to loop it together you'll see um okay so i'm going to take my green one and like i said you can do these in any color you want to pink purple whatever um so here is my pipe cleaner my white and i'm going to put my green one inside of there y'all just get ready and wait here we go okay so i'm turning it to where here's the end and then there's the end so i want to be sure to catch those ends okay of the white one so I'm gonna kind of squinch it together and then I'm gonna take my green 
like this, okay? And then I'm going to wrap, you know, twisty, like twisty tight together. So it's holding that white one together like this, okay? So I have that. Hey, Gracie. Okay, so here are my, these are going to be petals. If y'all haven't guessed what this is going to be. Um, so you have, we have six petals, okay? Six little loops make a petal. So now we're going to take our petals, and I didn't grab the end of that one, and I'm going to kind of mash them in so they're not completely round anymore. And then that first one, I'm just going to mash it in. And the second one, I'm going to kind of twist it out, and then I'm going to mash it, okay? So we're making our flower. So I'm going to take the next one, I'm going to twist it out, and then I'm going to mash it just to kind of make a little skinny little petal. And then the next one, I'm going to twist it out like that, and then I'm going to mash it kind of closed. So you're just going to do that to all of your little, and you'll see once, if you start doing it, you'll see where you have to kind of twist them a little bit to get them all spread out on your flower. Hey, Nancy. Okay. And then the last one I'm going to just mash. Okay. So now I have this and you kind of have to sit here and play with them and mash them closed and get them all like that. That one kind of looks funny. Okay. And my first couple kind of looked a little on the wonky side, I'll be honest. But then the more you play with it, the better it gets. So here is my little flower. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you all again several times. Okay, now we're going to take yellow because this is going to be a daisy. So you can see where you could do purple, pink, blue, whatever color you wanted to of all of your different... Um, like, I even have these pipe cleaners that are like, I don't know, they have stripes. This would be super cute. I wanted to do daisies. Um, yes, Linda, it's amazing what you can do with pipe cleaners. And those little, those little Chinese and Japanese people, man, they can make some stuff. You hear me? So, I've gotten, if you get on Pinterest and look at pipe cleaner flowers, y'all are going to be amazed. Because this is small change compared to what they were doing. Um, hey, Alicia, because I saw them on, on Pinterest later on after I saw it on TikTok. Okay, so I'm going to make the center of my daisy, and I'm just going to take and just start rolling it on each on itself, like make a little spiral. Oh, you saw a dandelion. That would be cute, Julie. That's a good idea. So you just want to kind of roll it to where it's big enough to where you think it's going to make the center, however big you want to do it. Let me cut my center of my daisy. And I'm going to kind of just tuck that under. There we go. So you don't see it. So I have this. So now all I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a little dot of hot glue and put the center of our daisy down. Okay. Look how stinking cute this is. Y'all see it? It's so cute. And it's so easy. Um, so you can kind of turn it like this if you want it to be like this or you know You can turn it to where it's straight up and down like a real flower would be um, Oh, you've seen the videos Danny, and you get I just sit there and I'm amazed at what they do with them Gracie, I'm gonna try to give you directions easy <laughs> so I can understand. Yes sunflowers Beverly Absolutely, they would be so cute. I don't think I have any like dark yellow ones. So uh oh Dropping stuff on the floor. <clears throat> you saw it on Pinterest, Rhonda? I know. They're so cute. But y'all got to see what I'm going to do with them. All right. So, I'm going to make another one. So, y'all can see it again. So, we're going to use the whole white one. And they are, it says they're 12 inches long on my pack. And you can get these at the Dollar Tree, guys. Y'all can make, you know, get your uh, uh, chenille stems at the Dollar Tree. I just wasn't sure if I had white at home and the gr and this green. I wanted this like real green olive looking color because I do have I do have some like John Deere green, but I wanted it to be more like a realistic green. <coughs> uh oh, 
my video is fuzzy. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's Facebook. Okay. So again, I'm going to do this again. And I'm just going to wrap. That's three, four, five, six. And of course, that one's going to come around. One, two, three, four, five, six. And make that one because it's not a whole one. Okay. So I just wrapped it around my Sharpie. Now, you can wrap it around something smaller. And you're going to get a smaller petals, of course. Um, okay. So now we have this. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Like and a half. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? So then you're going to take your green one or whatever color you want your stem to be. And, um, oh, good. Everybody says it's clear. Yeah, see, these would be good for Bible school, Sunday school, whatever. They'd be so cute. Um, okay, good, Barb. She said she's fine now. No, they're just the regular pipe cleaners. Um, Chenille stems. It just says, and this is the color moss. But these came from Hobby Lobby. Um, now, I have some super duper pipe cleaners. And I've not ever used them. But they came from Target. And they are like this jumbo, fuzzy. We may have to break these out and try it one time. But they're really fuzzy. They're real big. Hey, Stephanie. Okay. So, like I said, you want... See, there's the end. See how it ends? I want that kind of down here. Because I want to catch that in the green... And there's the other one. So I want them kind of down. So I'm just going to put my green in there and try my best to catch both of those ends in my green. So I'm going to squish it together like that. Uh-oh, Donna says, oh, try it tonight, the fuzzy ones. Okay, Donna, we will. We'll try it. We want to see. And I got them from, from Target, and I've never opened them. Oh, hey, Tracy. Welcome back. Okay. Those big ones would be cute. Yes. Okay. So, that one I made a really long tail for whatever reason, but I don't really need that much. So, I think I'll cut it off because we're not going to need all of this stem anyway. All right. So, that's what I have. So, see, after I did that, <clears throat> and pipe cleaners are so inexpensive, guys. You can try this and play with it and you know, your kids can play with it, and then you can straighten them back out and try it again. Hey, Leanne, how are you? Diana, I'm lots better than I was yesterday. Okay, so here's the first one. So I'm just going to kind of pinch it because it's got that end that I tried to catch and I did not in the green, but it's okay. So I'm just going to pinch it closed. If you want to leave them open, your petals be open, you can do that. So the second one, I'm just going to kind of twist it and kind of pull it out like that. And then I'm just going to mash it. And when you try this, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about when you, I say I have to pull it out. So here's the next one. And I'm going to twist it and just kind of pull it out like that. And then I'm just going to mash it closed. Because I want my petals to kind of be um, closed so you can't see through them. I know it kind of looks like a big furry mess, but so I got three and then I'm going to do the next one. Just kind of pull it out and then I'll pinch it closed. So there's my four and then I'm going to, you just kind of have to work with it and you don't always have to twist it if you don't want to. So there's that one. So I've got one more. So, all I'm going to do to him is just kind of mash him. And then you just have to kind of play with them and get them to halfway look like they're all the same size. And then you just kind of pull your stem down like this. Okay. There it is. Yes, I, Brenda, I will do another one because I'm going to do three at least and we'll do one with the fuzzy. All right. Here's the other part of my yellow, <clears throat> and I'm going to, hey, Donna from Kentucky, I'm just going to make like a little round spiral -y thing that's going to go in the center. So I just kind of look at it, see how big I want it to be, and, and then I'm going to cut it off. Oh, thank you, Diana. Oh, you're okay, Diane. You're fine. You got to watch those babies' ball games. Okay. 
So see, there's my flower. And they're, all the petals are not exactly the same size if you look really close. But they're so cute. But you can sit here and form them and make them and kind of tug on them and twist them to get them how you want them to look. All right, so I'm going to put a little dot. And then I'm going to put my, my little center on. So now I have two. Aren't they cute? <laughs> I just love them, y'all. I think they're so stinking cute. Just out of something so simple as a pipe cleaner. Y'all probably have pipe cleaners, I would imagine. Um, <clears throat> they are easy. They are very easy. So see, y'all see where I'm going with this. Here's my little, my little daisies. Look how adorable they are. And with other colors, they'll be super, super cute. You could do pink and all the different colors that you have. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap again. And it automatically just does six, pretty much. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Okay. So, it's like six and a half. All right. So, there's my thing. And I'm using a Sharpie. Like I said, you can use something smaller and get smaller flowers. It may go around more times. <clears throat> but if you want to have seven petals, have seven petals. We don't have any rules here, do we? Okay. So, here's the end. And then here's the end. So I'm gonna try to, I didn't do so good this last time. I'm gonna try to catch both of those ends when I do this. So then I'm gonna loop it like this and then I'm gonna do it like a twisty tie. Okay. Hey, Darlene. All right, so now I have this. And that looks kind of cool too. It looks like some kind of little flower, like you could Spread this out, or like somebody said, you could even pull it down like this and make a flower like that. That would be super cute. <clears throat> so you have six little loopies. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the first one, yes, and those would be cute with little strawberries. Little, they have those little white flowers on them. Okay, so I'm just going to mash my first one. I'm just going to kind of mash it closed. So there's my first one, like that. So the second one, I'm just gonna twist it out. I just took it and twisted it so it kinda is flat. And then I'm gonna mash it closed. So now we have two. Hey, Carrie. And then I'm gonna take the next one and twist it out. And then I'm gonna mash the petal together. So now we have let me get it fixed so y'all can see all three. Now we have three. And then I'm just going to pull this one out and mash it together. And that's four. And then on the last two, I'm just going to pull them out and mash them together and make six. And that's how it looks. But then I'm going to have to just kind of, you know, move them around get them evenly spaced and it'll work with you. It's real forgiving. Cause I don't like them not evenly spaced. My OCD kind of kicks in. It's like, Oh, that's gotta be fixed. Okay. So see, there's my flower. So cute. Um, so I'm gonna get me another yellow. Cause I don't think, I don't think that's going to be enough. Um, but yeah, Phyllis, it is so easy. And, um, you could do brown and and yellow and make sunflowers wouldn't it be cute to have like a whole bunch of them like 10 or 12 in a little vase that would be so cute all right so i just make it to where i think my center is big enough and then i'm gonna snip it off and kind of tuck that little end under so it's just round um and then i'm gonna put a dot and i promise y'all y'all can do this can do this with your kids or grandkids they'll love it so so easy i wish i had done this earlier for mother's day but y'all like my stanley dupe this is the walmart 14 dollar handle cup <laughs> um anyway but look how stinking cute they are so now i have three and like i said you can either leave them like this or you can bend them down to where your flowers like this which is probably what I'm going to do. And I know I'm not going to need all of this. So I think I'm going to cut off 
some. And I think I'm going to make some leaves. Now, this part I did not practice, but I'm going to try. So I think I can, like, do this and maybe make, make like, that shape, like that. And then wrap it back around and cut it off. And I, that's kind of like a leaf of my flower. See, look at that. Isn't it cute? Oh, May Day. That would be a good idea, Stacy. So I'm going to take this other piece and I'm going to make another little leaf. I'm just making this up as I go. Hey, Miss Glenda. Because I did not see them make leaves. I just saw them make the flower. And it was some Chinese something on TikTok. Japanese something. <laughs> You're very OCD too. Now, I didn't have quite enough, so all I did was kind of bend that one in and make a leaf shape of some, some sort. Now, okay. So, I'm going to do the same thing to the other ones. Because I know I'm not going to need all of this. I'm going to move this paint because I'm going to stick my daisy down in it. Yes, no need to water them, Alicia, because I will, they, they won't survive at my house. I've tried to have a green thumb, and I just can't. Y'all, I don't know what it is, but I just, I just can't. I tr as much as I want to, I, stuff just dies at my house. <laughs> okay. So I did the same thing. I'm just making like a little leaf shape and twisting it around my stem. Just, you know, just what I think it would look like. Can I make them without cutting them? Ooh, I don't know. I just did what the first thing <laughs> that came to my mind was, and that was cutting a little piece. And yes, I'll make another one. But I got to show y'all what we're going to do. We're going to put them in this jar. So, what I was going to do last night, this is not long enough to make another one. Uh, what I was going to do last night was make the daisies, and then I was going to put them in the spools. You know how we did the spools on these flowers? I was going to decorate the spool and put them in a spool. Well, then I started thinking how cute would it be if we put them, like, in a cloche or some kind of... And I do have the little plastic cloche from Dollar Tree, and I was like, no, I want to do something else. I can make two without cutting, Dana says. Well, Dana's going to have to show us that one. Uh-oh, Barb only has sparkly green. She's in there digging out her pipe cleaners. <laughs> well, I think they have a, pa a pack at the Dollar Tree that's like the primary colors. Um, hey, Nancy. And um, so you can get the colors in there. But I was at Hobby Lobby, didn't, wasn't, I hadn't gone through my stash yet, so I was like, well, I'm just going to go ahead and get green and get white while I'm here. I know I have yellow. Just twist it down. Oh, you're talking about do one leaf and then come down and make the other side? Yeah, I could do that. That's smart. Okay. Look at y'all helping me out. Lori's helping me out, too. Look how cute. See? All right, let me try that this time. I'm going to cut the end of this one. See, I got I got kind of ahead of myself, and I tried to make it look vintage, and so I put antique wax on it, and to me, it just looks dirty. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Here are some of my other... Well, there, there's one over here that I have already made, and this one don't have a center. So, yeah, I've done several, and there's some over there. Okay, so let's... Um, let me think this through. All right, let's, if I start here and go there, okay. Let me go this way. I'm having to think. <laughs> um, poor Daisy got smashed in the mud when it rained. It looks like it, Dana, because I was trying to make it look vintage, kind of. No, it just looks dirty. <laughs> Yes, that's what I'm trying to do. So I made one, a little leaf there, and then here's my piece. I'm going to go back around and then come over here and make another one. Y'all are such smart people. 
can't mess up a pretty daisy, right, Judy? I think, I mean, this is pretty simple, y'all. I think you, I think y'all can do this. All right, so then I'm gonna bend it around and then I'm gonna cut this off. Okay, look, I did it with one piece instead of cutting it. Look at y'all, y'all helped me out. So cute. So now they all have little, two little leaves on them. And they look so cute. And they're gonna live forever. 50 years ago when you'd make flowers out of pipe cleaners. Ah, well, Karen, you need to get your skills out and, and show us in the group how to do it. Okay, so this was what my vision was about. Now I've got chenille everywhere. Um, was my, my vision, okay? Is that I'm gonna put them in this jar upside down. I'm gonna decorate this somehow. And then I even thought so far as putting a knob on the top. I don't know yet, but that's what... I'm going to do with them and make and put some moss and make a cute little scene in here with my daisies. Um, <clears throat> but let me show you something else first. I don't know if y'all remember this video. I didn't do this live. I did this like on a little fast video. Do y'all remember these? But you could definitely do these and you could put them on your little desk at work. Look how cute and happy that is. These are just wood beads. They're all super glued together where the holes line up and they make like a little vase. Um, I love these little things. So easy. Um, okay. So they all have centers. We're all ready to go with our daisies. Now, this is where I got to figure this out. Like how tall they need to be. I want like one low and then one a little higher, but I can't go too high. And then one low, you know, down low like that. So pretty much that way. And then this one's going to be taller. <clears throat> so this is going to be fun trying to get this. Yes, I am, Kathy. I've got my little, my little ladybugs over here and my bees. Okay, so I'm going to cut it off like this. We're just going to try. And I'm going to cut this one off. There. I'm going to cut it off a little bit longer, and just in case, I need to add a little more. Yes, these are so very easy. I'll have to put this video back up so y'all can see, but I have that one. I have a bigger one. This one's uh, the nine, and this one is four across, you know, four sets of three, and this is three sets of three. But I love those little things. But you got to have some patience. <clears throat> okay. So these are my side ones. And this is my tall one. Just trying to... Okay. I think it's perfect. Um, now, this is going to be... You know, when you put it on, i got to see where my front is going to be. So I think I'm going to... Because this, this jar has a seam on both sides. So I think I'm going to put it the front right there. So that, I just put a mark so I would know where the front of my jar is. Because, you know, when you put it on, it's going to go on a certain way. Oh, you've never seen the vase? I need to put that one back. Um, replay it and put it back up. It was just like a fast video I did. It may have been a year, more than a year ago. All right. So I'm going to just... Glue them straight down to the, this one I'm putting in the center. And I'm going to hold that there. And then i got to let it set up a second. I know I love these little things. And you could even stain these. You could paint these. Um, but it's just something different. You can set it on your desk at work or at home. Put it in a windowsill. Be super, super cute. Trying to let that set up a second. Yes, it's perfect for a tiered tray. Absolutely. All right. Come on. All right. He's standing. <laughs> Deborah, I have some moss. I don't have any green grass, but I have moss. Because I figured that's going to cover up all my glue and whatnot down here at the bottom. Okay. So, I want... Kind of bend him out just a hair. Put some glue. I'm 
hold him where he needs to be. Hey, Andrea. Hey, Betty. Okay. We made these little pipe cleaner daisies, and now we're about to put them under glass. <laughs> Happy little flowers. Thank you, Kim. They are so cute and just so easy. Y'all know me. I don't, I like simple little, um, look at them, and they just kind of, <laughs> I just like simple little easy stuff with stuff you probably have. Especially, you probably have a jar. If not, you've got one in the refrigerator that probably has three pickles in it. <laughs> okay, so I'm kind of bending him out. So he'll go where I want him to go. And that's probably going to be a little wide, so I'm probably going to have to squinch in. Everybody's squinching in the picture. <laughs> hey, Bridget. Oh, Lisa, I'm sorry you feel bad. I hope you feel better. I felt bad last night. Okay, so here's here they are. Look at them. Look how happy. Oh, y'all, you know what I just thought about? I gotta get my leg out. Is what if they had little eyeballs on them? If they had a little eye and a little mouth on them? Y'all, I couldn't do it. <laughs> they would be so cute with little faces. Uh-oh, Patty saved a big pickle jar today. Here's Patty running in the kitchen to get her pickle jar. She's got to wash it. This one actually has been cleaned out for months, and it's been sitting over here. I opened it today, and the pickle smell about took me down. <laughs> I had to wipe it out with alcohol, and I finally, it doesn't smell anymore. Okay, so we're just going to see what it's going to look like. So I'm going to carefully put them in there. And see, I gotta fix get my get my lid started where it's gonna be in the center. There it is. Look, <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> okay, all right. So boop. we'll get them right back out. You waiting for? Oh, the dancing flowers. You know those little solar flowers. <laughs> Oh, it don't take much for me to laugh. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, now I've got to cover up all of this goodness down here. So, where's my moss? Here it is. All right. And I have, I have bees, the little bees. You know, I'll be having bees forever. And then I have my ladybugs that are in pill balls. <laughs> yeah, tiny googly eyes. They, they are, Rhonda. Daisies are so happy, but they would look cute colored. I think I'm gonna, <clears throat> I think I'm going to use a ladybug. And I'm gonna put a ladybug be where you can see it. Okay, so I got a ladybug on there. <laughs> it's so cute. If you don't have a ladybug, you can make one with a bead or a piece of felt and make you a little ladybug. It's so cute. All right, so here's my moss. Y'all know how I feel about this stuff. It's going to make a mess. I'm going to try not to make a mess. All right. I know. It's so cute. And just just easy stuff, y'all. This is so... And y'all know y'all have a jar in your craft room. I know it. Some kind of jar. If not, you got one in the fridge. That would be cute, Robin. And I'll tell you something else I thought about, too. And I'll show y'all in just a minute. Something else I thought about doing, but I didn't know how it would look. But I have it over here just in case I need it. So now I'm going to put some... It's probably way too much moss. It's going to be a challenge to get this lid on with the moss, I will say. But I want to kind of gather up. So see, that's going to cover up all my stuff in the bottom that you don't need to see. All right. Oh, this stuff makes a mess. Chuckle patch like on the magic garden. I don't know what that is. Cuteness overload. I know. Look how cute this is. I would crochet some, but I don't. I can't crochet. All right. So now I got to figure out this. Hold my mouth right and get all the moss in there, or attempt to. So I got to start it. I got to start it so I can get this because this jar has a seam. Okay, so it's got, oh, thought it was on there and it wasn't. Okay, look, I got moss hanging out. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. So this jar has a seam like on the side and has a seam here. So I had to be careful about where my front was and it's still not where I need it to be. Okay. Cute. Look at this. Look how cute this is. <laughs> so now I've got to cover this up. That's why I painted it white because it was green, like pickle green. Um, Tammy, I do too, and I've tried to crochet, and I can do a chain, and that's about it. And, like, all my little links are all different sizes. I can't get the tension down. So, if I couldn't master it in, like, 15 minutes, it's like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> oh, yeah, you could do a tuna fish can or some kind of can and then set this down into it. That would be cool, too. Look how cute this looks. I know the glare, but y'all can see in there. In my little, in my little terrarium world, look. <laughs> um, ah, Dana just said fairy lights. Oh my gosh. Would that not be cute if you had those lights all in here and then you had it like in a kid's room for a nightlight? Oh my gosh. Yeah, Sandy, that's what I said. I wish I would have done these before Mother's Day, but I didn't see them until like maybe last week, one day last week. Tammy, me too. I, I, my, all my links are all different sizes. <laughs> Patty's like, it's all I can do too. I can make a chain from here to me or to you, and, but I can't. <laughs> when you go to the next row and then you start trying to find that next, yeah. I'd put it down and come back and not even know. I'd have to rip the whole thing out. Um, oh, for the baby room. Yeah, I could put little fairy lights in there. So the bottom part... I was thinking about just maybe, I've got some lace and and it's like, it's like an off-white kind of color, but I was thinking about just maybe doing this around the bottom because I want to cover that jar up, the lid. I've got, then I've got some fabric that's wider, so it would look, you know, and maybe cover it like this. To where it doesn't look so much like a jar lid. Jilly, guess it would look like little fireflies. You can sew anything but not crochet. Sit with someone to help you get through the next row. Rhonda, I have. <laughs> I think I'm a lost cause when it comes to crochet. <laughs> Deidre's mother-in-law tried to teach me when Deidre was sick. And um, it, she, she taught me and she's a good teacher. It's just the student was not so good. Oh, the student would be me. All right, so I think I'm going to put, because this is wide, so it's going to cover up, like, that whole bottom piece and kind of look like a base to, or something. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I may put something over it, like the piece of lace or something. So I'm just going to put a dot right there for right now. And then I'm just going to go around. And this is, you know, it's kind of wide, but I wanted it to look like a base like it's sitting on a base or something you could use burlap would be cute or you could even take so much as take cardboard and wrap around it and make look make it look like a base it would be so cute all right so there's that so far so see it's just going to add a little bit of extra detail to it to so it doesn't look like you know, a jar. Hey, Rowena. Oh, Rowena inspired. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's your grandmother's name. I remember now. Okay, so I'm going to glue this back here. Now y'all are going to be addicted to making these flowers, and I love it because they'll be all over the group. Look how stinking cute this is. So I still may, hmm, let's see. Still might go around. I've got this. This was a cur curtain panel. I may go around. I don't know. And put some white in it. I don't know. Some feet. Oh, Debbie. Debbie's done said the word now. Debbie. Debbie's already said it. Put some feet on it. So what happens when we put feet on something? Just gonna use some beads. Put some little feet. Look, Gracie's on it too. Put 
put some feet on it and see what happens. Mm, boy. Let's see. I have to look at my beads because some of these are smaller. Okay. Oh my goodness. Black and white check. Oh, that would be cute to put buffalo check on here. Oh my goodness. All right. So let me, if y'all can see, I'm going to try my best just to line it up first and see what we think about that. Of course, y'all might not can even see it. But look, it's so cute. Grunging the lace and then attach it. Yes. You could also set it on a spindle or a table leg. Look at y'all. Y'all are like up in the game. Like, we can't just have a jar. We got to have feet or we got to have a pedestal. <laughs> That's how I feel. You put anything on a candlestick, it automatically just elevates it to new heights or put feet on it. Oh, Nancy said put a bumblebee like on a little wire. Oh, he said that'd be so cute. Okay. So, all right, let's do this. My flowers are all good. <laughs> They're still intact upside down. Now I should have painted the bottom better. Okay. So they're, these are just beads. Yellow rickrack. Oh, Judy, you're hurting me. I need some rickrack. I don't, I don't think I have any yellow. I have green. Yes, feet, yellow ribbon. Okay, everybody's saying yes. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to put a gob around that hole. So cute. I'm trying to make sure I've got the front. Looking at my flowers. All right. Cute. Candlestick. Yes, I don't have that in reach though. I'd have to go digging through something to find one. I know I've got some Dollar Tree candlesticks. Yes, put one on a glass candlestick. That'd be so cute. Y'all know that. I, I think that elevates it. It just takes it up a notch. I could have stained these or something, but... Wooden thread spools for the feet. Yes, Judy, and I have some of those. I have some big ones. I have little ones, I think. Now I got strings everywhere. Yeah. Looks like a little skirt on my jar. Look. Look <laughs> It don't even look like a jar anymore. It's like a whole different, different deal. I don't think I have a candlestick. I have little candlesticks like this so we can just look at it just for, for giggles. But, you know, it's a little one. But that's, you know, it would look like that if you had a bigger one. Yes, glass candlestick. <clears throat> okay, so here's the other idea I had is taking like this is sheet music and just putting sheet music in the background and just go about halfway around the jar like from side to side and it just being that in the back. You would just see the music or you could just leave it clear. Kind of like it clear now that I've seen it like that. So, but y'all. Look how stinking adorable these daisies are. Yeah, I was going to put, Linda, I'm going to, that's what, I was going to ask y'all what you think about, hey, Mandy with Rest and Grace Home Decor, there's my friend. Okay, so I was going to ask yes or no on the top. So I got the beads on the bottom so it would match. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I have anything smaller than that. Let's see. Got that. Nope. No. I have a cork. And I have... And this is where they would be, but I do not have... I mean, I have beads, but it's got a big hole in it. Um, maybe I'd put music side in the back. Maybe a small ribbon around the base. I know, that's what I was trying to decide about if I should put this. Oh, that made a loud noise. No bead on top. If I should put this lace around 
around there. Oh, you could put, yeah, you could put little pebbles and gems inside there. That would be really, really cute. Yes to the topper. Yes, I like it on top. Somebody said they didn't like it. But I could put that lace around there. No bead. So it doesn't need anything on the top. And I have, yeah, I have these. I got some more of these at Hobby Lobby the other, the other day when I was in there because I'm out of these little, these things, but I thought it was too small. See, it just kind of looks dinky up there. Looks kind of small. Really doesn't need a bead on top. Yes to the lace on the bottom. I like the lace too, but I'm thinking, what if I did, what if I did the white? I don't know. Decisions, decisions. Yes to the lace. Oh, I'm rolling away. Trying to see if I gathered it up. See that lace, you really can't even see it. And I didn't bring any white lace over here. I made these with dandelions and they turned out adorable. I bet they did. They're so cute. And we could figure out a way to make a dandelion like we were somebody was saying a few minutes ago about how it looks like that in the very beginning. All right. Get my lace. all the way around this glass table and glass jar you know that might not be a good thing together but I do love my glass tabletop because I can just scrape the paint right off you just got to be careful not to drop anything on your table a ribbon with color so it can pop see that's what I'm thinking what if Look how it looks. It, that kind of makes it look kind of vintagey, doesn't it? It looks really cute. Need some color on the bottom. All right. I don't know what color, what that's going to be, though, because I did not, I did not bring anything over here that had color. Look at them. Black and white ribbon would be cute. Y'all going to make me get up and go get some. All right, I'm going to get some ribbon. Hold on. Don't go away. I'll be right back. I got to run over here. This and this. Here I come. 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 Okay, y'all made me go. So maybe I need to take off this. Look at there. Magic. Magic. Make sure that's still glued down. <laughs> Needs more color. B on the ribbon. B ribbon. Oh, I don't have any B ribbon. Okay. So I have this, which is, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I got little. So I've got little, and then, hey Sue, and then I've got this big. Cute. Red and black buffalo check ribbon or polka dot to pull from the ladybug. Oh, Patty, that's a good idea too. Isn't it cute? It needs a bee. Well, I can put a bee down here like on the ribbon. Kind of, the, okay, somebody said little. Michelle said little. Christy said little. All right, it's so going with the little then. Going with the little. All right. <clears throat> and you could put other flowers, like, you know, fill in flowers in here if you wanted to, like plastic ones. Or you could make different ones with the pipe cleaners. Oh, there's so many options you could do here. I might need to tack this down some of the way. I just love how this turned out. And like I said, I had the flowers ready to go last night to make. And I was going to put them in the spools. And then this idea just kind of came out of the air from somewhere. Okay. So there is that. 
and beads. Where's my bead? What if just had a thought? Had a thought, had a thought, had a thought. Here we go. I'm gonna try to make a tiny one. What if we made a tiny one? <coughs> Let me see something I got small. Is this smaller than that? That's about the same size. Um, so I'm gonna do my pencil. So see, the smaller it is, you're going to have more little loops. So I'm going to go around one more time. And another time. I can always cut it off. So I'm going to try to make a little bitty daisy, and we'll put down here in the front. Okay. How many loops do I have? Way too many. Okay. Now, where's my green? My green. Paintbrush handle. Oh, yeah. Paintbrush handle would be good. It's little. A sunshine and glue it to the inside. Yes, you could do that. That would be cute. You can make it with a... um. Make it with a uh, pipe planer, too. Hey, Jane. Okay. So, this is going to be smaller because our loops are tinier. So, I'm going to get it up through there. And I really don't need the green stem, but it's got to have something to hold it together. Okay. Twist, twist, twist. Y'all, these are small. <laughs> They're very small. So I can't really show y'all how to make them with this one because they are tiny. So the bigger around, the Sharpie works really good. The pencil, it's tiny. Can't hardly even get a hold of the little uh, petals. Hey, Kathy! Oh, I can't even mash that together. It's so tiny. <clears throat> Hurts my fingers. Okay. About need a pair of pliers. Jeez. Wheeze, it hurts. Now, all right. It may have seven petals. I'm not real sure because they're so small I can't tell. <laughs> So there it is. See, you can't even tell. You can't even see because they're so small. I'm trying to mash them together some more, and that way you can kind of tell that they're petals. Okay. So there, there's my flower. Now you can kind of tell. This should make a perfect one. The rest of this yellow. Butterflies. Yes. Cute. I don't know if I have any tiny, tiny butterflies. It's too big. Come back out. What Doris said. Okay. I gotta cover up that green right there. You can see my green pipe cleaner. All right. Maybe that'll go on the bottom. So I'm just gonna glue that right in my center. There's my little bitty daisy. Look at it cute. <laughs> so now I'm going to cut that green off. And what if I'm just going to kind of fold it back on itself like that. What if I put it like down here? Let's see. So there's the front. That's the front. And I could put it like over to the side and then put a little B on it. What if I did that? Hold on. All right, so there's the front. I'm gonna put it on this side because I don't want it the same side the ladybug's on. Oh, buttons would be cute. On the top, that would be so cute. Okay, so I'm putting my little daisy there. And then I'm gonna stick my B. Thank y'all for the hearts. Okay. Look. 
<laughs> Look how cute. That is adorable. If I do say so myself. So cute. So y'all don't think it needs, it needs a um top. No top. I, I kind of, now that I look at it, I think it kind of takes away from it, like y'all said. Um, and then I could even do this. I could even put ribbon around the top, like so. That would be cute, too. So there's so many options you could do. But I will show y'all again how I made the flowers if you were late hopping on because a lot of people said they didn't see. Oh, Denise just got Daisy stuff from Timu for her bathroom. Well, this is perfect for you. Then they won't get dusty because they're all covered up. Okay, pipe cleaner. Now I gotta find my Sharpie. Here's my Sharpie. And so you see the smaller flower, that was done with a pencil and these were done with a Sharpie. So they're gonna be different sizes. Um, yeah, Vicki, I was thinking like a cloche handle, but yeah, I think it does better without it. Um, so you're going to wrap your pipe cleaner around your pen, which I did a Sharpie. That was the size that I found that worked really good for me. <clears throat> like that. I'll use this. And then you're going to take your stem. So I try to end, there's the end and then the ends over here. So when I put my, this one through there, I'm trying to catch both of these sides, you know, where I'm not on the end, if that makes sense. So I'll put my pipe cleaner through there for my stem, and then I'm gonna do like the twisty tie deal to, to secure it together like that, okay? Let me move this for, before I knock it over. Um, so then I'm gonna, you're gonna have six loops or six petals. So the first one, here's the first one. I'm just gonna mash it closed, like my little petal. The second one, I'm just gonna kinda twist it and pull it down like that. And then I'm gonna mash it closed. And you'll, you'll see, when if you start working with it, you're gonna see how you have to kinda pull it out and twist it out to, to form your, your round petal, you'll see. All right, so then I'm just gonna keep, so there's three. So there are my three. And then the next one, I'm gonna just kind of twist and pull it out. And then I just mash it closed. And then the last two, you just kind of have to configure and get in that round shape. And then I just mash it closed. And then it looks like that. <laughs> but then you have to sit here and play with it and get them all kind of evenly spaced and round it out and play with it a second and get it all fixed and then it looks like this so then the center you do like i did with the yellow and you're going to make i don't know where my yellow is let's grab another yellow a caterpillar for the top peggy that would be cute so then i'm going to just going to make me a little spiral to where i think it's Big enough for my center. And then somebody said you could do buttons too in the center. That would be adorable. Now a tulip or a rose. All right, Barb. Barb's getting all excited over here. And she's wanting me to go on to other flowers. <laughs> You're funny, Barb. Yeah, a caterpillar. Oh, I have to work on that. Okay. All right, so there's my, my little center. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right in the middle. There is my daisy. Look how cute. See, and you could put it. That'd be so cute. But like I said, these little vases, I'm gonna have to find that video and put it back up. But let me cut this off right here. How cute is that? So cute. Okay, now I wanna try these. These are from Target, that Target brand. There's no white, so we're gonna do, um, yes, Rita, we are. I'm gonna, <laughs> y'all, see how fuzzy? They are like super pipe cleaners. They're real, real fuzzy. 
All right, here we go. See if we can make this happen. And they are look like they're longer, but maybe they're not. No, they're the same size, pretty much. Pretty much the same size. But you see the difference. <laughs> um, this is going to be interesting. <clears throat> Let's see. Where's my... Here it is. All right. So now I'm going to try this. Don't know how it's going to work, but... Look how fuzzy it is compared to, <laughs> it's like super fuzzy. Now I may like these better. Yes, great for Reese. They would be cute on little Reese. Okay, now, and I can't see the end of these as well. I'm gonna have to feel it because they're so fuzzy. I'm gonna twist this around. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put my green gonna have a skinny stem <laughs> okay so there's my thing okay I'm just as curious as y'all are oh yeah the big fuzzy green ones would be a cute caterpillar yes okay so there oh that looks all cute right by itself doesn't it look at that look that looks like a clover or something look how cute that is all right, you can't even see the 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 circles because there is so fuzzy. Oh, this wire is a lot tougher too. So yeah, I don't know how this is gonna. You're not gonna really gonna be able to see the the petals. I don't think because it's so fuzzy. Oh, a carnation. Yes, these are so cute though. The pipe cleaners. I didn't know what I'd use them for, but I knew one day I would for something. And the wire is a lot stiffer. But you really can't even tell its petals. <laughs> oh gosh, that's hurting my fingers. Okay. It's harder, for sure. Where is... I think I need it. Okay. So I have petals, but you really can't tell. But now we know. But they are cute. Okay. <laughs> See, you can't even really tell that there's petals. If I didn't tell you, you wouldn't know. And I've squished them together to try to make them more, a little more defined, but it's just so fuzzy, you really can't get the gist of that's petals, but it is super cute. Look. So then, let's go in here and get a yellow one. <laughs> it is pretty, though. I love this color. And make a little center, which is not going to take very much because it's so fuzzy. See, it didn't even take a round because it's so much fuzz. You really don't need much. Okay. Put me a little. So cute. It is so cute, though. Look how cute. But see how I didn't even do a whole round. And you see how fuzzy that is. It's stinking cute. Looks like a pretty carnation, I know. And then look, let's see. Put it down in here. Look how stinking cute. And if you had like purple and different colors, how adorable would that be? So cute. Let me turn it that way. Now, look at that. And these kind of won't die. These will not die. Look, let's take, I like this color. This is a cool color. I'm going to be sitting here making pipe cleaners. <laughs> Flowers. <sighs> Alright. Well, here's my Sharpie. I don't think I'm going to open this one up. I think I'm going to leave it just like this. Okay. Because it looks 
like a flower on its own without even having to make the petals. Hey, Marsha. All right. Let's see. See, that just looks like a puff ball without even pulling those petals out like I did. Look at here. <laughs> that looks like something on, uh, what's that? Uh, Dr. Zeus, the Lorax, or Horton Here's a Who, or one of those shows. Um, you know how they have those round flowers on the show, on the, on the movie or whatever, the book. This one's got to fucking fix this one. It's so cute. So now everybody's going to be looking for the fuzzy pipe cleaners at Target. <laughs> so stinking cute. But yeah, it looks like the, um, it looks like the, what you call it? Horton Here's a Who, or I don't know. It's one of those. Where he's living in that little puff ball. Hey, Carla, you're okay? This is what we made. We made pipe cleaner daisies and put them in a jar. Isn't it cute? Like a chive, yes. Look at my bee. Isn't it cute? <laughs> Kindergartners. Yeah, the big pen, those big pencils the kindergartners use. That's probably about what this the Sharpie is. And that worked worked best for me. What worked best for me was the Sharpie. Because you saw how small it got, even with just a pencil. It makes it that much smaller compared to them inside there. Thank you, Michelle. I am. I'm feeling lots better. Saw my allergies have just was wackadoodle. Look how stinking adorable. Let me pull this one up a little bit. I don't know where the front is. Maybe that's the front. And the daisy needs to be. But so cute. So cute. The Lorax movie, that's it. Well, Horton Hears a Who. Doesn't he live in like that little flower? And then Horton, the elephant, sees that there's a whole little world going on in that flower or something like that. Maybe, it, I think Dr. Zeus flowers in general are just like puffballs. But look how stinking cute this is. Oh my gosh. And y'all think I can make a caterpillar out of this? It's going to be a very fuzzy cat caterpillar instead of the very hungry caterpillar. How do I make a caterpillar out of this? Let's see. And just do him like. Like that? Hold on. caterpillar like that <laughs> it does look like a caterpillar thank you Kay. yes yeah, a caterpillar look and he needs eyes i don't have any eyes right here by me caterpillar <laughs> he's a fuzzy caterpillar oh or twirl it on a pen yes hey pat but yeah see there's my caterpillar he just needs some eyes a little bookworm his tail oh my piece, look, my piece is separated. I could just do one and he wouldn't be so fat. But he's fat because he's he's already eaten, maybe. So cute. But y'all, you can make all kinds of little stuff with these. So yeah, if you're at Target, that's where these came from at Target. <laughs> in the craft and all. And I've had them forever. And I just today was the day, I guess, to break them out. Cause they were they're in my, this is my tub of pipe cleaners. See, I have candy cane ones, sparkly ones, primary color ones, all the times. And now I have green and white because I made the flowers. A dinosaur. Yes, you can make all kinds of stuff. But y'all got to go on Pinterest and type in pipe cleaner flowers. And they have like stargazer lilies and all these flowers. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> It's like a whole art amongst itself of the the pipe cleaner flowers, and they're way more fancy. But I, the daisies, I can do the daisies, and I love, just love the baby little daisies, cause they look so cute. But don't try to, don't try to make it look, uh, make it look vintage and kind of. I put 
antique wax on it and it just looked like it got trampled in the mud. <laughs> so don't try that because I did it and it makes it look dirty. Thank you, Angela. Lee, we, Lee got Heinz variety. Hein, this is the dill pickle jar. See, it's got feet on it. But it was a pickle jar. Yeah, Melissa, I, I, I get that. Um, I've been seeing stuff about it and I'm like, I had no idea because I don't go in there very often. It's been, it's been a while since I've even been in there because it's not close to me. I have to kind of go out to go to the Target. But I get that. Yes, Melissa, I understand. Because I've been seeing stuff about it and I didn't know that all this was going on and I was like, oh, I've been under a rock evidently. But, um, yes, it's very cute. It's very cute. But yeah, you could put the ribbon around the top. There's so much stuff y'all could do. And you could make, I mean, like these are purple and lime green and orange. Like I have these that are striped. They have like this, I don't even know where these came from. But they have the stripes on them. And these, I think these are actually Dollar Tree maybe. But pipe cleaners come in so many different varieties. And they're super inexpensive to make your little flowers. A bird, Linda, yes, a bird. Um, I don't even know how to answer that question, Tony. And not get in trouble. Um, I don't even know <laughs> how to answer that. If you look it up, you'll see. Um, somebody may come along and tell you. I did, Beverly, I made these two with the jumbo pipe cleaners. I didn't even fold these petals out. And then this one, I folded the petals out and you really can't even tell that there's petals there because it's so fuzzy, you can't tell. But they're so cute. So I just left this one in the spiral and <laughs> it looks like a little puff ball. So cute. I don't know if, um, if they, I have never seen these at... Hobby Lobby, the fuzzy, fuzzy ones. Um, yeah, just listen to the news, Tony, or you can Google it. Um, just this, a bunch of stuff going on with the LGBT community stuff, and there's some stuff going on with all of that. And that's a, that's really all I know. Um, I know they had some Satan pins and stuff, but that's really all I know. So... I don't know enough about it to even really tell you. I just kind of saw something about it. Oh, they may have the fuzzies in two mood, Tammy. Yes. Okay, yeah, Tony, just Google it. Because it's like happening now, but I, I didn't even know. Yes, Michelle. I, You know, I don't know. It's just a, it's a mess. It is a mess. Clothes as well. Oh, they have clothes, yes, with Satan or something to that effect. <laughs> you have to Google it too, Shireen. I know. I don't watch the news, and if it's not on Facebook or TikTok, I don't see it most of the time. So, yeah, I don't, I try, I don't even know, like, stuff that goes on. It's, so de it's depressing to watch the news. I don't know about y'all, but it's just depressing. Um, kids' clothes, okay. Vicky said kids clothes. Linda said put a ribbon on top. Now, that would look cute if I put like a, a bow up here. That would be cute. But y'all know how I am about bows. So cute. Uh-oh, Tony said I'm frozen. Yes, Michelle. I am too. Vicky, I have a Walmart right here by my house. And I just, I go to Walmart. But Target's a good little piece drive for me to go to Target. So cute. Oh, my bee. He son took a dive off my thing. <laughs> I wasn't looking. He's trying to go to sleep. Going to Bucky's in August. Yay, Jill. See, Lori, I was going to put a wood bead on top, and I just thought it kind of took away from it. So I'm leaving it alone. Butterfly on top, Marlene. I'm trying to think, do I have a butterfly? And she, your husband's telling you you need to watch the news. <laughs> no, we don't watch it here. We just don't. I just, it's just too much depression. I don't even want to let it in my house. Too much negative. So, but guys, I am going to jump off 
I can't wait to see all of your flowers that y'all make with pipe cleaners and how cute. I know y'all are going to take it over the top and it's going to be just awesome. But post them in the group. I have a group called the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. Y'all can go in there and ask to join and you can post your crafts and whatever you make. And there's tons of people in there that are super talented and super crafty people. And you can post it. And I want to see. I love it. A smaller would be. I see I don't have a, a smaller one. I have this big knob. But I don't have any smaller ones. So, but anyway, guys, thank y'all for hopping on tonight with me. And um, I will see y'all Thursday. Today's Tuesday, so I'll see you in two days. And we'll see what else we can come up with. But I already know what I'm going to do Thursday night. I already have in my head what I'm going to do. So, that's easy. So, um, I will see y'all Thursday night. Y'all have a great rest of the week. I love y'all. And thank y'all for being here on my page. Thank you, Nancy. I am feeling better. As long as I can keep the allergies in my ear at bay, I'll be good. So, I will see y'all Thursday. Bye, guys. Love y'all.